Hello everyone, Mike Starks with Remax Town & Country. Today we're looking at the Solo Wahio Ranch, 376 acres, offering a little over a half a mile on the Colorado River. Uh, located in between Goldthwaite and San Saba, right on the edge of Mills and San Saba County. Great river, uh, we'll come back to this, but let's go take a look at the house. Alright, we're standing in front of the home. Beautiful rock home, built in 86. Real quality construction all the way through. Uh, home offers about 3,436 square feet and has four bedrooms and three baths. One of the bedrooms is actually being used as an office, um, so really flexible floor plan. Got a three car carport over here and just a nice peaceful setting. Alright, we're just up on the front porch and actually it's kind of a wraparound porch that goes from the front, the side, and the back. And I'm just going to walk over here to the end. And You can see nothing around you but nature, woods, really a peaceful setting. And the reason I'm coming over here is right behind the house is a 10 acre lake. Um, just right out the back door and the house really takes advantage of that lake um, from all the inside. Alright, just walked in the front door into the great room or living room. Got some beautiful wood floors, massive rock fireplace, and these vaulted ceilings. I'm not even sure how high these are but those are some pretty big mounts on the wall and there's plenty of room. Also have a little wood-burning stove over here. It's a nice open flowing floor plan that just kind of blends right into the dining area. And the dining area just blends right into the kitchen. So really a great setup. Uh, got a real chef's Stove over here, six burners, double ovens, griddle. I'm just going to turn back around here so you can see just how open of a floor plan this is. Just flows right back into the dining and living area. All right, just walked into the master bedroom. Great fireplace. That mantle you're looking at was actually uh, salvaged from a, another home. Uh, was built in 1912. Nice big bedroom. Goes into a nice uh, master bath, bookshelves. And let me walk over here, give you a little better view of that mantle. Beautiful piece. Now I'll turn around and let's look out the window. And there's that 10 acre lake again. Now we're right in the middle of a pretty good drought. Usually that water, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little pole right there. Usually the water wraps around and is about halfway up that pole. All right, just walked into the other bedroom that's downstairs. Um, it's currently set up as an office, but if you needed the extra uh, fourth bedroom, it could be easily changed back into a bedroom. And it's got these really cool Mexican tiles for the floor here. Nice room. Alright, just walked upstairs. I'm on the landing. Just going to take another little look around that living area. That fireplace is awesome. They've got it set up for cooking. And then that wood stove down below really heats the house. Let me zoom up here and maybe you can get a little better idea just how high the ceilings these are. Great fireplace. Alright, just walked in the second bedroom upstairs. All these rooms are good size. Uh, plenty of room for a family. Uh, if you're just have a lot of guests, plenty of room. 
Here's our other bedroom upstairs. And the two bedrooms upstairs share the bath. And let me walk back over here to this window as well. Like I was saying, that lake, that nice little bench seat. That lake is just uh, right off the back here. So pretty much from all the windows, you can have a look at it. Beautiful view up here. All right, now we're just uh, down at that uh, 10 acre lake. Where I'm standing right now is a little berm that in a normal year would have water over the top of it. Connecting that front lake back over to this one. You can see the house there in the background. And yeah, right now the lake is probably, gosh, I don't know, eight, ten foot down. Usually the water wraps around into that little finger right below the house. And this is a great property for hunting. Um, pretty much you can hunt something all year round. You've got white-tailed deer, um, turkey, quail, just a fantastic wildlife population. A lot of the land's been cleared, but there's still lots of wooded areas. And all these pictures I'll be showing you here are pictures that the owner's taken over the years. That bird there looks like he would make a pretty good Thanksgiving supper. Great white tail population. This family's had a lot of enjoyable years out here with the family kids and grandkids. But yeah, there's quail, uh, wild turkey, uh, dove. And with between the Colorado River, the 10 acre lake, plus two additional lakes, the fishing is unbelievable. The owner was telling me that uh, one year they were out here, they caught a little over 660 pounds of fish the first year. Everything from bass, great big catfish. And if you're looking for the family or for just a weekend getaway, there's something to do out here all the time. Now, in addition to the um, main home, you also have three hunter's cabins. These three are all just kind of, well, these first two red ones are just kind of one roomer uh, setups, have several beds in, in them. And then this cabin on the far end, that was actually where they lived for a short time while they were, or actually for a few years while they were building the main house. It has more of a living area, kitchen set up. All right, just going to take a little drive. Uh, this is some of the strip clearing that's been done. And here I am just uh, standing out in one of the fields that's been strip cleared. We're right around the center of the property right here. Really just great peaceful land. It's really worth a look. Um, you know, you're only about two hours from Austin, about three hours from Dallas, um, maybe 11 miles outside of Gold Plate, half a mile of Colorado River plus a 10 acre lake, great rock home. Uh, this property has everything. Um, been, it's really a paradise out here in the ultimate privacy. You're at the end of the road, surrounded by two larger ranches. Um, there's about 1,100 acres on the south side and 11,000 acres on the north side. And then your other neighbor is the river that we're looking at here. So uh, thanks for watching. If you need more information, just visit my site, www.mikestarks.com.